Hey everybody, Justin Woobly coming in. Got some incredibly important news. One of my contacts in Tennessee, which is affiliated with the 1st Southern Militarized Brigades, which is a militia organization, sent me this photo of a heavily armored UN police vehicle with weapons enforcement stamped on the front fender well area. And it is sitting outside of a Midway Auto Body Shop. So this is sitting in the U.S. I don't know which Midway Auto Body Shop that is or where it's located. But uh, yeah, U.N. police vehicle with weapons enforcement stamped across it. The interesting thing is, is that's the exact same vehicle seen here. And this vehicle is actually being given to several different militarized police departments across the United States. Please take note of the heavy double stacked circular rivets going down the side of the vehicle, the three windows there, the way the fender well looks and the door and the fact that it's a six wheeled vehicle. Now going back here, the double stack heavy circular rivets, the three window structure, the way the fender well looks and the door. So cross compare. Uh huh. Uh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So clearly the exact same vehicle. Interesting how some of them are getting painted up as UN police vehicles labeled weapons enforcement, and some are being sent to militarized police departments. I think the most interesting thing is is that just today. Alex Jones got a hold of a document from the United Nations Careers Job Openings uh, Job Code Title Disarmament, Demobilization, and Reintegration Officer. Now, the duty station being in New York. Now, that's interesting because the article from the UN's website themselves, www.un.org slash yada yada yada, um, that I've been showing you has New York up on the map. That would be their duty station. United Nations Office for Disarmament Affairs. And they have all this resources dedicated towards it. UN Disarmament Commission. Conference on Disarmament. Disarmament Fellowship Program. So they have all this. They're hiring. They already have the armor personnel carriers, which are also being given to militarized police. Also, please watch this entire video. I posted it June 19th, one day before uh, my buddy posted this picture. And several days before this came out on uh, Alex Jones' channel. I'll have all this stuff linked, by the way. Uh, but this one especially puts it in perspective. Um, heavily recommend that. Also, I pointed this out a while back, back in January. Uh, pointing out that particular document before I had this screen sharing program. I was like a goofball. I was uh, <laughs> just showing it on my TV. Um, so there's that. Also, just to show you something real quick, there is New York up on the map. And as we all know, Connecticut got even more draconian gun legislation than, than New York. Uh, and of course, Connecticut is right next to New York. So of course, they're taking over the state's working their way from New York outwards. Also, California is going to be doing the same. Uh, it's no wonder that uh, Clive and Bunny got attacked by the BLM over there in the lower half of Nevada. He's right next to the uh, uh, communist-occupied land of California. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see a lot more issues uh, working their way in, trying to squeeze in on us from these two sections here. Uh, also, I would like to remind you guys about that multi-billion dollar DHS facility. Here's actually the fedbizops.gov document on that DHS facility, and they're saying quite specifically um, it is for the consolidation of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security agencies. Uh, I'll have this document linked so you can read all through it. But I'd like to show you how they're consolidating um, Customs and Border Patrol, which are the people currently not doing their job and letting a massive flood of aliens come in. 
Um, also, the TSA, the uh, rape squad, which aren't even sworn officers. They're basically just tasked with violating your Fourth Amendment and sexually harassing you. Um, yeah, they're all getting their own massive facility. Um, this broke a while back, you know, the facility on the uh, uh, on the hospital grounds, the uh, Elizabeth West Complex. Um, so there's that for you. So it's a complete totalitarian takeover. They're building their fortresses. They got their disarmament vehicles. They're hiring for uh, the disarmament and demobilization and reintegration. I wonder what the demobilization and reintegration stands for. Is that the FEMA camps, the reintegration? Like going to reintegrate you from society into FEMA camps? I bet that's what that's for. Because once they disarm you, those vehicles are just going to be packed with a whole bunch of slaves stuffed in it for off to the FEMA camps. Um, all right, guys. So the writing's on the wall. They got the vehicles. They are officially hiring. They have the uh, massive consolidation DHS compounds, multi-billion dollar compounds, uh, strongholds. Um and they've uh, they've had this up there forever talking about how they're going to disarm you so we saw it coming and the militarization of police all over the place and it's uh, mainstream news that the uh, drones have been surveilling you so yep domestic drone surveillance reaper drones fox news mainstream news so you can't see you didn't see it coming can't say you didn't see it coming um, the totalitarian takeover is officially coming, and this is what we get for not eliminating the Bilderberg Group, uh, Trilateral Commission, and Council on Foreign Relations. Uh, it still may not be too late. Uh, there is a uh, video series I highly recommend. I'll also have it linked called A Good Plan for Ending Tyrants. I recommend starting with video one and working your way to video three because that kind of strategy is our only salvation. We will have to eliminate these tyrants before they enact their totalitarian takeover with both UN vehicles and militarized police vehicles. Okay, so Get busy, no more playing video games, and no more bullshitting in chats. We gotta get this taken care of, because this is getting absolutely ridiculous. Alright, this is Justin Wu Lee, signing out.